emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Collins Prepper and we're going to do a video that's back on topic and in theme with the channel. We're going to do a video tonight about VHF packet radio and more specifically VHF packet radio using that technology to send and receive email with packet radio. Now, I've done a lot of videos showing how to do this with HF or shortwave but for those of you out there who don't have general class licenses or above and just have a technician class ticket, well, you too can send radio email with your VHF radio, your technician class license. So I'm trying to split the screens here between the camera and actually my PC over here, and I'm working around the camera that's pointed at the radio, so I apologize for the video quality. But over here we have my web browser up, and we're looking at winlink.org. And this is a global radio email system that's all around the world that amateur radio operators can access. And this is their main page, and I just put this here for reference for you, and then I'll go ahead and close it out. What I wanna focus on tonight is the nodes that you can connect to. And I have a map here, and I'll roll this out so you can see it, of around the world, of all the stations around the world that are running VHF packet winlink nodes, or RMS stations, that you can actually can connect to to send and receive email with your VHF amateur radio equipment. And up here you can see there's a little uh, radio button that says packet, and my previous videos cover pack tour, and I'll go ahead and click that and let that refresh so you can see. So there's not as many HF nodes to get into, but for VHF packet, there are many nodes. So we're gonna get that to refresh, and I'm here in the Northern Virginia area. So we'll see if I can zoom in here so you can see it better. And what I'm gonna do is I'm up here in Virginia, I'm actually going to connect down here across the Potomac River to this station here in Maryland and send an email from my radio station to my commsprepper at gmail.com account. And what I'm working with here, and I hope I don't hit the tripod here, is I have a basic VHF radio. This is a Kenwood TM281. I think they're around 150 bucks. It's a 60 watt radio. And then this is a TNCX Coastal Chipworks modem and I'll roll back over here see so there's a website for TNCX right there and I'll highlight that there and I'll put these links down below what I have here is a TNCX coastal chip work packet modem connected to this radio and the cabling between the modem and the radio I actually purchased from packetradio.com and here's their web page and again I'll put these links down below and you can scroll down here and you'll see here they have cables connectors and there it is right there, cables, packet radio, and sound cards, and we'll click on that. So depending on the radio you have, there's a good chance that packetradio.com has that cable for you. Or you can even actually pull something up here and see the print and make your own cable. So it doesn't take much to get your station going. And again, this is targeted to those guys who subscribe to the channel that have a technician class license who haven't really ventured into digital communications or sending and receiving email with your radio, which I think is a very cool feature because in an emergency, you may have radio communications capability, but you have family members who don't and they're not interested in getting a license. Well, they can communicate with you and you can communicate with them in and outside of a disaster area with VHF packet radio. So what I'm gonna do here is open up RMS Express, which is a free application that you can download from winlink.org. So what I'm going to do here is click over here to create a new message, and we're just going to do a test message. So I'm going to send it from my radio station here to my comms prepper email address. Commsprepper at gmail.com. Test email, and we'll keep this simple. I'll just put down here, this is a test of the radio email link. And then I'll go ahead and I'll post this to my outbox. But before I do that, I have two radio button options here, a WinLink message, which will format this for the WinLink system. And then you can also do peer-to-peer -peer messaging with this application. And I'll do a separate video on that once I find another radio operator in the area to partner up with. So not having to go through any middlemen, you can actually send email or text messages back and forth to each other in a peer-to-peer -peer configuration, one radio to the other. But for this video, we're actually gonna post this to the outbox, connect to a winlink.org RMS station, 
I'm here in Virginia, they're in Maryland. And when I connect to that station, that station will in turn put that message into the internet for me. We'll go ahead and post that to the outbox. And then up here, I'm gonna open a session. Now I have options here with this application. I can do a telnet connection, which just connects the application to the internet. Packet, WinLink 2K, Pactor, and there's a few more in there. There's also Winmore, which is a sound card option. For this video, we're gonna use Packet, WinLink 2000. I'm gonna open that session, and it's initialized the modem now. The TNCX is initialized and ready to go. Now I have channel selections in here, and it'll give me distances and bearings to all the stations around my area. But I've already connected to the station in Maryland a couple times tonight to make sure it works for this video, so we're gonna leave it that way. Uh, but in this table, I should mention, you can actually update this table via the internet, and if you don't have internet connection, you can actually update via radio if you can connect to the system. And perhaps I'll do another video on that. We'll see how you guys like this video. So I'm gonna go ahead here and hit the start button and you'll see my radio start calling out to that radio station in Maryland. And I have the ocean radio sitting next to it so you can actually hear the audio because we're actually using the speaker jack out of the back of the main radio so you don't hear any sounds. So here we go, we're gonna hit start and we're calling out. And that's my radio calling out. We're connected to the station in Maryland and we're actually gonna synchronize here and my test message will go out to the internet and you'll see that here with a green bar will go across the top showing that message being sent. And down here, you can see one message is getting ready to go out. And that's the green bar. And it's complete, so that email is complete. So if I were to log into my Gmail account for comms prepper, I would have one email message from my radio station. So I think the application for this in emergency planning and emergency communications is outstanding. If you lost internet in an area, snowstorm, ice storm, tornado, hurricane, and you don't have a general class or greater license, even with a technician class license, you can access this system and send and receive email to friends and family outside of the impacted area if you're if you're in the impacted area and it's not a whole lot of money you probably already own a radio so for a few less than a hundred bucks you can get a TNCX modem with a cable download this application for free and start sending and receiving email via your radio and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with a Hopefully not too boring video on packet radio and its applicability for emergency communications and planning. Thank you guys.